Shemuel Shani to Samuel 16. And when David was a little past the top of the hill, behold, Siva, the servant of Mephibosheth, met him with a couple of asses saddled, and upon them two hundred loaves of bread, and a hundred bunches of raisin, rather raisins, and a hundred of summer fruits, and a bottle of wine. And the king said unto Siva, What do you mean by these? And Siva said, The asses be for the king's household to ride on, and the bread and summer fruit for the young men to eat, and the wine that such as be faint in the wilderness may drink. And the king said, And where is your master's son? And Siva said unto the king, Behold, he abides at Yerushalayim. For he said, Today shall the house of Yasharael restore me at the kingdom of my father. Then said the king to Siva, Behold, yours are all that pertained unto Mephibosheth. And Siva said, I humbly beseech you that I may find grace in your sight, my lord, O king. And when King David came to Bachurim, behold, thence came out a man of the family of the house of Shaul, whose name was Shemi, the son of Gera. He came forth and cursed still as he came. And he cast stones at Eth David, and at Eth all the servants of King David, and all the people, and all the mighty men were on his right hand, and on his left. And thus said Shami when he cursed, Come out, come out, you bloody man, and you man of Belial. Yahuwah has returned upon you all the blood of the house of Shaul, in whose stead you have reigned. And Yahuwah has delivered us the kingdom into the hand of Avshalom, your son. And behold, you are taken in your mischief, because you are a bloody man. Then said Avishai, the son of Saruyah, unto the king, why should this dead dog curse Eth my lord the king? Let me go over, I pray you, and take off Eth his head. And the king said, What have I to do with you, ye sons of Saruyah? So let him curse, because Yahuwah has said unto him, Curse Eth David. Who shall then say, Wherefore have you done so? And David said to Avishai, and to all his servants, Behold, my son, which came forth of my generation, seeks eth my life. How much more now may this vin ha yamanin do it? Let him alone, and let him curse, for Yahuwah has bidden him. It may be that Yahuwah will look on my affliction, and that Yahuwah will requite me good for his cursing this day. And as David and his men went by the way, Shimei went along on the hill's side over against him and cursed as he went and threw stones at him and cast dust. And the king and all the people that were with him came weary and refreshed themselves there. And Avshalom and all the people, the men of Yashadael, came to Yerushalayim and Aki Tophel with him. And it came to pass when Cushai the Arki, David's friend, was come unto Avshalom, that Cushai said unto Avshalom, Elohim, save the king. Elohim, save the king. And Avshalom said to Cushai, is this your kindness to Eth your friend? Why went you not with Eth your friend? 
And Hushai said unto Avshalom, Nay, but whom Yahuwah and this people and all the men of Yashara'el choose, his will I be, and with him will I abide. And again, whom shall I serve? Should I not serve in the presence of his son? As I have served in your father's presence, so will I be in your presence. Then said Avshalom to Achithophel, Give counsel among you what we shall do. And Achithophel said unto Avshalom, Go in unto your father's concubines, which he has left to the house to keep, rather to keep the house, and all Yashara'el shall hear that you are aboard of Eth your father, then shall the hands of all that are with you be strong. So they spread Avshalom a tent upon the top of the house, and Avshalom went in unto his father's concubines in the sight of all Yashara'el. And the council of Achithophel, which he counseled in those days, was as if a man had inquired at the oracle of Elohim. So was all the counsel of Achithophel, both with David and with Avshalom.